Hey friends, Doug Goodrich with Goodrich Aviation. And behind me is a 2008 Cirrus SR22. And we're gonna put the Thermacool electric air conditioning system in this aircraft. And we're gonna show you just exactly how that works and why you might wanna think about a system like this in your Cirrus. Now for years, people have said, ah, eh, you don't need air conditioning in an aircraft. And those of you who have flown in a plane that has air conditioning are smiling right now because you know how sweet that option really is. It's true once you get up to an altitude, the air is cooler and it's less important. But those who have experienced air conditioning when they're taxiing around on the ground, when they're on hold for a bunch of airliners to land and it's hot and humid out, having air conditioning on the ground in taxi um, it's just a really, really sweet option. And the nice thing about the electric thermocool system is that um, you can run it in any phase of flight. So uh, you can even pr uh, pre-cool the airplane by hooking it up to ground power. Um, as soon as you start the engine, you can turn it on and have it while you're getting clearance, taxiing, you know, anything. You can use it climbing out, descending, in flight, whatever. There's no flight restrictions for the system. So it's really, really nice. And uh, it's just great to get cool air blowing on you and your customers, giving you comfort in the cabin, especially when you're on the ground. So let's take a minute and talk a little bit about uh, the system and uh, a little bit on how it goes into these, uh, uh, these Cirrus aircraft. Um, behind me is this oval access panel. And you have to have one of those in order to put the system in your Cirrus, and you'll see why in a few minutes. Um, some of the early SR22s didn't have this oval access panel, and uh, there's now an STC to add this, so we could put Thermacool in just about any Cirrus that's out there. Um, but it's important, and you'll see a lot of the components are gonna go right back here, right behind the parachute itself, and then the evaporator will go in the front. And you'll see uh, when we get into the installation how slick that installation really is. Um, so let's go through a couple of the components here. Um, <clears throat> this right here is the evaporator. So this is gonna give you your cool air in the cabin. And you'll see, this is pretty slick how they've designed this so it doesn't take up any room in your baggage area. Um, and uh, uh, you know, so, so you don't really lose anything with its installation in the back of your airplane. Um, you've got your uh, condenser here and your compressor here, which is the electric compressor. This is kind of the, the heartbeat of it all that makes all of this thing work. And that's a little different than your engine driven compressors and some of the other things that other manufacturers have done. And then what kind of ties all of this together and really makes Thermacool so great is, uh, is this guy right here. This is a Hartzell 150 amp alternator. And why that's so slick is in these airplanes, when you're down 900, 1000 RPMs taxiing, this thing here is still putting out over 100 amps. And it gives you the ability to run the air conditioning at full bore. You're getting full cooling even while you're taxiing on the ground. So it just, it's a really slick thing versus your 60 amp that's uh, um, installed on the airplane. We're gonna upgrade that and make, uh, make there be plenty of power um, in this airplane to run the system. The other thing that's here on the wing is the headliner. When we do this installation, um, we have to install this new headliner because all of the ducting for this is inside that headliner. So there are eight different vents and, um, and the cool air comes right up there and blows right down over your head or your passenger's head. Um, and it just, with, with a lot of force. The fan on this thing, the scroll cage fan is really powerful and um, uh, it moves a lot of air and you get it right where you're gonna feel it immediately. It doesn't have to cold soak the entire cabin before you start feeling cool air. As soon as you turn this thing on, the, the air starts blowing, you immediately start feeling cool air. So it's very, very effective. So we'll show you how, um, how that thing works. Um, so these are kind of all of the components here and whether it's in the, um, uh, the Baron, which we have a Baron installation video out there already, um, whether it's the Baron, the high wing Cessnas, the Moonies, um, the different planes that we put this thermocool system into, it's all basically these same components here 
and it's just how we install them and how it's ducted that's different. So let's jump into this install and give these owners from Virginia some cold air for their Cirrus. So I already talked about the fact that you have to have this oval access panel in order to install Thermacool in your Cirrus. And the reason why is we have to have access back here to put all the different components that you're gonna learn about in a few minutes. But uh, we also vent the system through this panel. So we actually have to cut a couple of holes in this thing. And then uh, the trick, the fun part of this project is to try to match up the paint in the, the shape of the, uh, the end numbers here and the style of the end numbers. And I'll hold it up close here so you can see it's metallic, it's faded silver to kind of charcoal gray and black, and it's gonna be a, a, a fun, and it's a fun project uh, to, to try to match this up. But uh, I probably won't get it absolutely perfect, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot and see, uh, see how we can do um, the, the coloration on the mesh screen that's gonna cover over the vents here. So uh, I'll show you how this goes. So we're here in the baggage area and behind me is the evaporator and you can see how this thing installs right here. Um, it is forward of the parachute. Um, it is above the fill port and certainly above all the, um, the baggage space here. You don't lose any floor space in your baggage area. So it's a really nice installation here. Um, it's below the rear window here <clears throat> and we're going to put um, some ducting here that's going to take the cold air and go right up into the uh, the headliner to uh, duct the cold air forward. Um, but you can see again, the uh, fill port here for the uh, oxygen doesn't even get moved or anything. And then you have um, here the refrigerant lines, the evaporator uh, uh, drain line here, and the electrical hoses going right through this pass-through port right here into the, um, the back of the airplane. So this is how the evaporator is mounted in the back of the Cirrus. So we are wrapping up our Thermacool installation on this SR22 and um, you know here in uh, the northeast it's a it's a little chilly out here today um, but we've got nice bright sunshine so uh, I brought the plane out in the sun and I thought I'd show you some of the different uh, components and the different things that we've done in this installation so you that you can kind of see what the finished product looks like and I thought we'd start right here um, you've seen from some of the other pictures in the early part of this video, all the work that we did inside the, um, uh, the fuselage right here behind the parachute. Um, now you can kind of see what the finished product looks like. Um, we have venting here for the condenser and uh, this is the inlet, this is the outlet here. And we have to cut these holes in the access panel 
and then we mount this mesh here, and then we need to paint it to match the, uh, the airplane. And this one um, has actually turned out pretty, uh, pretty well. Um, so let's take you to the front of the airplane and we'll talk about the different things that we've done up there. All right, so on the front end of the airplane, uh, we have uh, replaced the alternator, uh, the main engine driven alternator here um, to a larger unit uh, so that it can handle the amps that the electric air conditioning draws. Um, we've also put uh, um, a new, uh, new uh, wire for the increased uh, amps that goes from the alternator to the MCU, which is on the other side. And then we've uh, installed a, uh, a 70 amp slow blow fuse um, on the, uh, the MCU itself. And that's where the power for the thermocool system is, is taken off of the, uh, the MCU over there. Then on the inside of the airplane, we've installed a, um, a 60 amp uh, circuit breaker, pullable circuit breaker that's right down by the right knee of the pilot. So if he has some issue with the, uh, uh, the air conditioning system, he can just pull that circuit breaker and shut the whole thing off. So that's what we've done up here to the front of the airplane. So here you can see the uh, controller for the air conditioning unit. It really mounts in the, the Cirrus is really nicely right in that spot. The last couple that we've done have all gone right there, but we can install them in other places depending on what your interior is like, what model you have. Um, but uh, this unit right here controls your temperature. It is set it and forget it. So you just put a temperature in there and then it'll uh, regulate the temperature inside the cabin from there. It also has your fan speeds and other things uh, right here on this nice little screen. So it's a nice, clean, neat installation for the controller. So with the introduction of a new headliner here, uh, people often ask me, how much headspace do you lose? And um, I'm six feet tall and sitting here, I've got kind of a tall hat on. Um, if I had a full headset on, like a Bose or a Lightspeed, there'd still be lots of space here in the back seat. Um, and it really doesn't have any impact on the uh, the front seat at all. So back here in the back seat, there's, there's tons of headroom still. Um, I'm not slouched, I'm pushed right up to the back of the seat here and uh, sitting right up tall and there's still lots of headroom. Yes, we've lost a little in the very center, but um, it's worth it for all the, the, uh, the cold air. So um, you really don't lose any headroom where it really matters, even with the new headliner installed. So one of the last details I wanna go over is how to really make your air conditioning effective. Obviously, you wanna cool the inside, but the other thing you need to do is try to keep the inside temperature down. And this airplane here already has jet shades installed in all of its windows. And that really makes a huge difference in keeping the, uh, the, the, the impact of the sun out of the inside. And if you're starting with a lower interior temperature, then it's gonna be just that much easier to get the, the cabin to a uh, cool and comfortable temperature. Um, so jet shades or tinting or whatever are, are great uh, options to combine with your thermocool. Now, Goodrich Aviation is a jet shade dealer. So um, if you don't have jet shades and you're interested in really going after a warm cabin with everything you can, then I would recommend thermocool and jet shades um, plus they, they look really cool. They make the windows nice and dark and uh, they're really a quality product. And for the Cirrus, they have the new Ultra Thins, which are um, just a really, really um, uh, nice option. They're, they're thinner than the, the old style jet shades. Um, they're a lot easier to install and we can custom fit them right here as a jet shade dealer. So something for you to, uh, to think about uh, when you get your Thermacool installed. We're wrapping things up here. If you are interested in a Thermacool system for your Cirrus, give me a call or you can get my contact information below. Uh, I'd be happy to go over, get you a quote um, and uh, you know, whatever answer, whatever questions you have about the, uh, the system. A um, Couple of other little details. Um, we have the weights and things like that in the information below. Um, and uh, it takes, we tell people about two weeks for an install. It's usually less than two weeks, as long as there's not some kind of holdup. 
But um, about two weeks is what we ask people to let us have their plane for so, uh, so that we can get the, uh, the system installed. Um, takes a few weeks um, right now, maybe even uh, close to six weeks or so from the, the time of a deposit till we uh, get the kit in house here. Um, so you want to keep that in mind. And yes, we do installs. Uh, there's snow on the ground uh, here in New York right now. We do installs year round. Um, in fact, we encourage people to uh, consider a winter installation because it's uh, a lot easier. Our schedule gets pretty, uh, pretty busy in the summertime. Um, and so sometimes if you start thinking about it midsummer, it's not until late summer uh, before we can, uh, can get you in. So, uh, so be thinking about it, uh, even if it's off season for, uh, for air conditioning. Um, all right, I think that's it. Thank you for watching us. Appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, we'll see you on the next video. God bless.